So it's race day two, Homestead Miami, first round of the Ferrari Challenge, and uh, we were back in the sunshine, ready to do battle out on track, and it was going to be the Copa Shell cars that would be the first to show, and what a show it was going into uh, turn number one, Cameron Root with a daredevil move, and he made it his own, so he picked up the lead of the race straight away. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Dan Cornish, who of course finished second to uh, Lisa Clark yesterday, was determined to uh, get a very, very good start, and Dan Cornish did get a good start. However, he would come under a lot of pressure from Lisa Clark in almost a carbon copy of yesterday, but this time Dan Cornish making a slight error, and that was the only invitation that Lisa Clark needed to go through. Now, when it came to uh, Copa Shell, Cameron Root, well, he was being pushed all the way by uh, Frank Sesniak, but Cameron Root did enough to take the checkered flag. And then before Copa, Shell Am, it was going to be Lisa Clark that would make it two out of two this weekend. Brilliant drive from Lisa Clark. And as you can see, the celebrations down there in Park Fermi. So time for the Trophy Oparelli cars to take to the track then. And Matt Kojieski doing a fantastic job here, as you can see, really, of course, uh, ahead of Roberto Perina, who was victorious yesterday. Roberto Perina was determined, so too was Manny Franco as he went side by side with Dave Musial. Dave Musial winning out in that little battle that was going on between the two of them, one or two drivers picking up the grass and the dust as well. Now, Roberto Perina, who of course was victorious in race one, was absolutely determined to do everything he could to get by Matt Kodieski, but it wasn't going to happen at this stage. And of course, lurking not far behind was the number 11 car of Jason McCarthy as well. So Matt Kodieski under enormous pressure for the entire race, seemingly, uh, from the number 55 car of Roberto Perina doing everything he could to try and provoke just the tiniest of mistakes. But uh, despite the grip falling away towards the end and Manny Franco uh, turning sideways as he tried to get past uh, Jason McCarthy, it was going to be Matt Kojewski that would take the uh, win for Trofeo Pirelli. Now for Trofeo Pirelli Am, it was going to be Chris Cagnazzi and Tony Davis just losing out on uh, P2, uh, but he would still get a podium P3. So well done to all the drivers in Trofeo Pirelli. The celebrations were fantastic in Park Ferme, uh, though they were eclipsed as always by the celebrations on the podium.